Okay, so this is a piece, the only surviving wood peg piece of the old Simonton Bridge that crossed the South Yadkin River in the late 1700s and early 1800s. Uh, this bridge uh, I've read about in history books is about a mile upstream from my house. And I found this piece underwater with wood pegs still driven in the holes about... Uh, about 20 years ago and I found another piece about 12 to 16 foot long with wood pegs and uh, the river's always been uh, so deep that I couldn't get uh, under into the clay and dig in and try to find the other pieces but uh, now during the drought it's been uh, pretty low so we're going to walk about a mile or two upstream see if we can find another piece of this bridge I think we can find some more pieces but I'm wanting to find a piece with the wood pegs in it so uh, anyway Let's give it a try. I'm walking up the South Yadkin River looking for a piece of the old Simonton Bridge. It was built back in the late 1700s. And uh, I was down here about 15, 20 years ago and I was able to find a piece of it with the wooden pegs. It's a piece of Iroh County history. Anyway, the crossing was right here at the end of our farm. And I walked probably about a half mile from where the cabin is up the river. This is the first time the river's been low enough where I could really see the wood and stuff. I found a few old pipe gates, but I'm looking for a piece of wood that's got a that's got wood pegs holding it together. So I found a, about a 16 foot piece some years back, and it sort of rotted when I got it out of the river. And then I found a, a uh, like a connecting piece that held the bridge up, and I've got it in my study, and it actually has the peg holes in it. The pegs rotted out. So. Anyway, I'm going to walk about another half mile up the river and see if I can see something while the water's low. It's not but about maybe six inches to maybe a foot deep. Got some deeper spots, but this is prime time to be looking for old bridges. Uh, I found a piece of the bridge. I know that because of the cracks that are on it and it's got like creosote on it. But this thing is down in the water and it's about a, I don't know, it's about a mile, close to a mile from the house upstream. I'm going to try to dig out what I can, see if I can find some pegs in it. So, interesting. Well, there it is piece of that old 1700s bridge with the creosote it's uh, axe chopped I'd love to get that out of there I think there's some pegs on down further underwater I just can't pull it out might have to bring the gator up here and get it but anyway a successful find right near the waterfall right at the edge of our land and it's probably the only piece I'll ever find if I can get it out. But anyway, happy hunting. Well, there it is. What I can find of the old Simonton Bridge. Old wood-covered bridge. Uh, you see the, where it's hand-hewed. And uh, this part of it looks pretty new because it was stuck in clay. Oh, probably five or six feet of it. But anyway. Uh, no wood peg holes or anything in any of this lumber, but anyway, it came from the same area, and whew, well, it was hard getting out. But anyway, while the river's low, it's about three or four feet low, this is the time to find bridge pieces, so anyway, there you go. A little fun on the river. Bye.